I'm Adam Anshell for Pro Football Weekly with a positional analysis of the tight ends in this year's draft. It's presented by Verizon Fios. I'm joined by our draft expert, Nolan Naraki. And Nolan, the tight ends this year, maybe not the best crop that we've seen in a while, but there are a few that kind of separate from the rest of the group. Tell us about them. You got Notre Dame's Kyle Rudolph and Wisconsin's Lance Kendricks. I think they both stand out as receivers. Kendricks isn't quite as big as you want at 243 pounds, but he is solid all around. He played in the offense that asked him to do a lot of blocking, and he showed he can get the job done. I think Rudolph is a guy that could come off a little bit higher. You know, he's coming off of an injury uh, depleted season, but you know, he was very solid as a sophomore and is very good at catching the ball as well. Now another guy that kind of fits into that, Tennessee's Luke Stocker, maybe not at their level, but pretty close to it. He's not great in any one area, not as a blocker, not as a receiver, but he does everything just well enough. I think he's a guy that could potentially develop into the starter. We saw him at the Senior Bowl, played well there. Now a couple of guys that are kind of seam stretchers, they have that speed to be dangerous in the middle of the field. Tell us about those guys. we got Nevada's Virgil Green and Rob Hausler from Florida Atlantic. I think the two of them are climbing up board just because of that ability to get down the field. It's harder to cover those guys. I think they could easily both fit into the third round. And we've seen in years past guys like Antonio Gates, maybe that didn't have the football background, but they have that athleticism, basketball guys. Some guys here that fit into that role? Uh, there's two of them, Jordan Cameron from USC and Julius Thomas from Portland State. I think they're, they're both very intriguing. You know, uh, Thomas only played one year of football, and uh, Jordan only had 16 catches. You know, they're both very raw, but the upside is through the charts. I think they'll get looks as soon as the fourth round. I think Jordan Cameron really wowed some people at the combine with the numbers he put up there. So overall, as a class, obviously no first rounders, it doesn't look like. How would you grade the tight ends? Overall, I'd give it a D. I think it's the weakest class we've seen since 2005 when only 10 were drafted. And it's a class may, may have 11 or 12 uh, at most. It's too bad considering the success the Patriots had with tight ends last year. They got two in one draft and both were really successful. Doesn't look like it'll pan out this year. That's a look at the tight ends in this year's draft. For the best draft coverage, be sure to follow us on Twitter or go to ProFootballWeekly.com.